Hi everyone, in this video I will show how to create email rules using PowerShell. You can create rules from Outlook, but you can also use PowerShell to create rules. Imagine there is a shared mailbox in your company and you need to create a rule where specific emails needs to move to a certain folder. It is easier to use PowerShell since you can do it from your computer and I will show you how. If you create an email rule in Outlook, you need to specify different conditions. For example, if the email comes from a specific sender or has specific words in the subject. And it is the same in PowerShell. And because of that, I included a link to Microsoft documentation where you can see the list of syntaxes. To create the rule, we need a few pieces of information. We need to name the rule. We need the mailbox name. It can be either a shared mailbox or a licensed mailbox. We need the sender information. And after that, we will decide, are we going to move the email to the specific folder? Are we going to copy the email? Or are we going to make the email as important? So there are a variety of syntaxes that we can apply to that email once we have, once we create our, our rule. And in my example, I'm going to create a rule where I'm going to specify if the email comes from a specific sender and if it has a specific word in a subject, move the email to a folder that is already created in the shared mailbox. And that's going to be my example for this video. I'm already connected to the exchange online and make sure you run your PowerShell as an admin and connect to the exchange online. The syntax to create the rule is new dash inbox rule. And as I mentioned, the first thing that I need to do to name my rule. So it's going to be dash name. You can name it anything. So for this example, I'm going to name it shared mailbox. then I have to include name of uh, the mailbox. So as I mentioned, it could be a shared mailbox or a licensed mailbox. And it's going to be dash mailbox. And here's the mailbox that I'm going to create the rule for. So the mailbox called training. And the department asked me to move the emails to this folder called customers. And you need to get the path to the folder because later on you will see I have to include the path to the folder. And as you notice, there are two ways that you can create folders or there are two locations that where folder can be. One is going to be outside. So if I right click on customers and, and see the check the properties, you will see it's under training. Or there's going to be cases where department or staff create folders under inbox and this is very important because if you include or give the powershell the wrong path to the folder the email will never get moved to that folder or copy to that folder so always get the path and you can see here this questions folder is under inbox and if i get the properties here's the path to get to that folder and you have to include this path Whereas customers, customers folder has a different path. So I need to make sure I have the correct path to the folder. So I already have this here, the mailbox called training. So I have to include training. Here I have to decide, uh, am I going to copy the email to the customers folder or I'm going to move for this example, I'm going to use move to folder. So dash move to folder and if I if I want to copy I can just use dash copy to folder I have to include the path so it's going to be training at my domain name and then I have to include the folder name Then I have to include from here's the email address is the sender's email address. Now I'm going to use subject contains word. So that's what I'm going to use. You can use different 
syntax or condition. But for this example, I'm going to use subject contains words. You can also use subject or body contain words, but I'm going to use this one. I'm going to do invoice because that's a want. And you can include more conditions or more words, but this one is going to be just invoice. I'm also going to include mark importance. So I'm going to make that, I'm going to make that high. I'm also going to include stop processing rule syntax for this rule. I'm going to make it equal true. And what it does is it instructs exchange to stop processing additional rules if the condition of this inbox rules are met. So it's optional, but I'm going, I'm going to make it true. Just want to double check if every, everything is correct. So we have a new inbox rule. I've named it share mailbox. And this is for the training at techtrip.org shared mailbox. That's why I have mailbox here. Then I use move to folder. I could have used copy to, but I use move to folder, or I think it's copy to folder. And here's the path to that folder. Then I said, if the email should come from this email address. And after that, I said the subject contains this word, it should be invoice. And then I said, make the email high. So it's it, uh, the importance should be high and then stop processing rules to true. And then I'll press enter. So we have our rule and it's created here. So the name is shared mailbox and it's enabled. So you can see here it's, it's true. And then priority is one. And here's the rule identity. We're going to use this rule identity and the, and the rule name show you how you can, you know, check the rule later on. We have a rule here. Now I'm going to send a test email and see if the rule works. So I've created this test email. As you can see, it's going to send to training at techtrip.org. In the subject of the email, I included an in invoice here and let's see if the rule will work. It should technically move the email to the customer's folder and make mark that as high. So I'm going to send this email right now. I'm in one of my workstations and I'm going to check to see if I see the email here. So here's the training share mailbox. And if I go to customer's folder, I can see that email has been delivered and the rule marked the email as high. So it's the, so it says the message was sent with high importance. This is what I wanted to be and it moved it to customers folder. So the rule worked. As you saw, it was, it was easy to create the rule. So, but my rule was kind of simple because I didn't want to do anything extra. I'm in a test environment, obviously. So I cannot just predict or create something complex. I could have to include if the rule has attachment or if it includes my name in the, in the email. So I could have done all of those because the syntax is all available. And that's why I want you to check the, the Microsoft documentation so you can create something better for your need. Now, let's say you have the rule here and you want to, you know, get more information or change something about the rule, or you want to show your manager or coworker how the rule works to do that. You can use the syntax. So the syntax is get dash inbox rule. Now I'm, I need to include the the mailbox name so dash mailbox and it was training mailbox then i'm going to include the identity of the rule which is this one and on the end i'm going to use fl and here's the more detailed information about my rule here as you can see here the rule is enabled identity is training here's the name shared mailbox priority is number one the rule identity is this number here. And you can see from is from this email address. Here I use subject contains words. I use invoice. You can add more to it to this. And here it says move to folder. Here's the name of the folder that I used to move my emails to this folder. I said mark importance high. And 
is valid true and stop processing rules is true so yeah that's how you can create inbox rules or mailbox rules i should say using powershell let me know if you have any questions see you all next time